Integrating Apollo.io with HubSpot is a good way to enhance your sales and marketing efforts by enriching your CRM data. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through how to seamlessly integrate Apollo's extensive contact and company data with HubSpot's sophisticated marketing and sales tools. When it comes to integrating Apollo and HubSpot, you have three separate options that each come with their own positives and negatives. The first is the native integration. The native integration between HubSpot and Apollo exists within the integration settings in your Apollo account. If you go down to integrations, you can see over here is HubSpot, click connect. And this takes you to your account page where you can find the right account you wanna integrate and then set up what data you want to sync between the two systems. The benefits of the native integration are that it's really easy to install and configure. So it offers out of the box integration capabilities and enough customization that it works for most companies. The downside is some of the automation that you can do within Apollo is more limited than what you would get from a custom integration. The next option is an iPaaS integration. IPaaS platforms like Make or Workato or Zapier offer pre-built connectors and integration apps for Apollo and HubSpot, which can simplify the integration process. The benefits are you can set up custom functionality without the use of a developer, but the downsides are it's a little less flexible than a custom integration, and depending on the volume of data and the complexity of the workflows you're building, costs can vary from a little bit to very expensive. Lastly, we have custom API integrations. Apollo has API endpoints that allow you to search for contacts and companies and enrich them with Apollo data. This allows you to create complex logic for when you want to enrich your data. For example, you could use more complex filtering criteria in a HubSpot workflow in order to kick off a custom coded action that will enrich data on a deal based on when it was created, what deal stage it's in, or any other criteria that you can put into a HubSpot workflow. The benefits of a custom API integration are that it is highly customizable, so it allows for specific data fields and workflows to be integrated. It can also be optimized for performance and specific use cases that the other options may not cover. The cons are it requires a significant development effort and technical expertise, plus ongoing maintenance and updates in order to accommodate changes in APIs. There are a few things that you should consider when you're integrating HubSpot and Apollo. One is duplicate management. When they're integrated, Apollo will mirror whatever the data is that's in your HubSpot account. So if you have duplicates of your contacts or companies, those are also gonna appear in Apollo. Before you integrate, you should deduplicate the data in your HubSpot account so only clean data syncs over to Apollo. Apollo has features that will recognize potential duplicates and they'll display a message so that it alerts you and you can actually merge them directly from the record. The second thing you should look out for are sync errors. Apollo has an error log within its integration settings and that's gonna show error messages that Apollo receives when sending information into HubSpot. Common errors include things like invalid property values or data restrictions like HubSpot requiring contacts to have email addresses. You should monitor these errors to ensure that your data enrichment is working smoothly. Another thing to keep an eye out for is lead status and lifecycle stage mappings. If you're using Apollo for prospecting, you may have noticed that it has different lead status and life cycle stage options than HubSpot does. Within the integration settings in Apollo, you can find mappings for these properties and you can customize them to fit how your business operates. Once you have Apollo and HubSpot integrated, you can empower your marketing and sales teams to make more informed decisions, prioritize the right leads, and deliver personalized marketing and sales initiatives effectively. Here are a few ways that your marketing and sales teams can action Apollo data within HubSpot. The most obvious use case for Apollo and HubSpot together is to enrich your HubSpot records with better data. One benefit of this is that you can reduce the number of fields that you have on your forms on your website. Buyers are more reluctant than ever to give their information, so making it as quick and frictionless as possible can significantly increase the conversion rates on your forms. By asking fewer questions and enriching unknown information using Apollo, you can streamline your forms and boost those conversion rates. This is an example of a really simple form. We want to know more information than what we're collecting on the form, but in order to increase conversion rates, we're gonna keep it short and then use Apollo to enrich more data after they submit. If we go to the contact record for that submission, you can see that there's already more information in here than what they filled out in the form. So we've got a job title, 
We've got some information about the company, the company name, revenue, their industry, and the company size. We can also use that enriched information within automation in HubSpot. Here we've got a workflow that enrolls people when they meet a certain job title match and they've filled out a form submission for our newsletter. So we are actually sending separate newsletters out to different industries. We can see here we are using the Apollo job title information in the enrollment criteria. We are branching on the Apollo industry information and then sending a unique and personalized email for these different industries. You can also use Apollo data for lead scoring and prioritization. Your marketing and sales teams need to determine whether leads fit within your ICP. You can add Apollo enriched properties into your HubSpot lead scoring criteria to build a more robust scoring model and to help your team prioritize the best fit leads. So here we have various properties built into this lead score, such as the size of the company, job title of the contact, the industry they're in, and company revenue, as well as negative criteria for smaller company sizes and less company revenue. If we test this scoring criteria using that contact that just filled out the form, we can see that based on the data that we enrich from Apollo, they're matching some of these properties that we've included in the scoring criteria. A huge benefit of having up-to-date data in Apollo is it makes it really easy for you to keep up with job changes of your contacts. The average job tenure is less than four years at the same company. So it's no wonder that more than 20% of the emails in your contact list go bad every single year. Sending emails to bad email addresses hurts your metrics and also risks your email deliverability. You can reduce the number of bad contacts by automatically updating contacts in HubSpot when Apollo detects a job change. We're going to create a new enrichment schedule here. You can see we can select the type of data we want to enrich. In this case, it's going to be a job change. We want to update existing contacts and you can select a cadence with which you want to search for new jobs as well as set a credit limit so that you're making sure you're not spending too much of your credits or your money updating these job titles. The other way you can make sure you're limiting your spend is to add filters so you can figure out the exact type of contacts that you want to search for job changes for and then apply those filters so you're limiting the pool and not doing it for every single contact. Once you're done, just hit schedule and it'll start enriching your contacts job titles. Updating your contacts job titles is not just about keeping a clean database. Job changes are also often a cause to celebrate. So if a former champion of yours changes companies or even gets a promotion, reaching out to congratulate them will help maintain the relationship and could even result in new business. You can use a HubSpot workflow to reach out when Apollo detects a job change. Here we got a workflow. We are using a job title update to trigger it, as well as only looking at contacts who we have marked as a champion within our customer base. Once that job title is detected, we're gonna create a task and send that to the contact owner so that they can reach out and congratulate the person. Advertising is a cornerstone of any account-based strategy. Apollo can help you build a target account list using their wealth of firmographic data. Once you've built a target account list, you can use HubSpot to further segment that list and load it into the integrated advertising tools as an audience to target. Apollo and HubSpot together can enable some really powerful account-based engagement strategies. The first thing I'm gonna talk about is curating a targeted advertising audience using Apollo data. To do that, we're gonna go into Apollo search. I've already created a filter here that's looking for companies that are within the software and SaaS industry. They use HubSpot and they make between a million and $10 million in revenue. Once you've created the audience in HubSpot, you can use it in your ad campaigns and it will automatically update whenever that company list updates. Another way you can use Apollo data in HubSpot to enable an account-based engagement strategy is to use Apollo data to identify decision makers at your target accounts. Your marketing and sales teams can work together to orchestrate coordinated outreach to your target accounts. While marketing is running ads, sales can build relationships with decision makers. Apollo's contact level data makes it easy for sales to identify decision makers and enroll them in synchronized marketing and sales messaging. In this workflow, we are triggering it when a contact meets a series of criteria that identifies it as a buyer that we're interested in talking to. If a contact meets that criteria, then it's gonna do two things. 
First, it's gonna add it to a list that is actually associated to an audience for marketing advertising. So whenever that list updates, the contact will automatically get enrolled in whatever ads we're running to that audience. The second part is we're gonna enroll it in a sales sequence. By doing both of these, marketing and sales can coordinate their messaging so that these contacts are seeing a lot of the same messages and that message is being reinforced from multiple different directions. Integrating Apollo with HubSpot brings many advantages that can boost the effectiveness and the efficiency of your sales and marketing strategies. You can attain a more comprehensive understanding of your prospects and customers by facilitating the smooth exchange of vital data between Apollo's extensive contact and company databases and HubSpot's robust CRM capabilities. This integration enables you to refine your operations enhance lead qualification, and implement more targeted and impactful engagement. With the integration set up properly, your organization can fully leverage the capabilities of both Apollo and HubSpot, setting the stage for enhanced innovation, higher customer engagement, and accelerated business growth. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you need help integrating Apollo and HubSpot, please give us a shout at aptitude8.com.